Are you still trying to add a smooth white flash at the beginning of your edit so they don't look like ass anymore? Well, don't worry because today I will show you step by step how you can add the best white flash ever. For the sake of this tutorial, I just quickly searched out two clips of Darth Raider just to show you guys. And what we want to do first is select the clip that we want to put the white flash on and hit Ctrl and Y on our keyboard at the same time. As you can see, there's a new window opening. Because we want our flash to be white, we're going to go ahead and select the color to be white. Press OK, leave the other settings how they are and press OK again. As you can see, you now have a white solid layer covering all of your timeline but because we just want it on our first clip i'm gonna go ahead and cut it where my clip ends do that by pressing ctrl shift and d at the same time and we can just delete the rest of it now to actually make the white flash animation we're gonna have to add some opacity keyframes i'm gonna show you how to do that now so once you've created your solid layer make sure to go ahead and click on it now we're gonna press t on our keyboard to bring up the opacity property and set a keyframe at the very beginning of the solid layer leave the value at 100 go to the very end and set it down to zero as you can see we now have two keyframes but to make it look way smoother we're gonna have to add a graph now to add the graph we're just gonna go ahead select both the keyframes press right click select keyframe assistant and hit easy ease now when we open the graph editor we can see that we now have an adjustable graph now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the exact graph that i use for my white flashes Once you're done, your graph should look something like this. And if you've done that, you can close the graph editor again. And now when we play our clip, we're going to see the white flash. But before you stop watching, I'm going to give you a secret tip on how to boost your quality from 1080p to 4K Ultra HD. And to achieve the best quality, all we got to do is add a good color correction. As you can see, adding a professional color correction can boost the quality of your edits immensely. If you want to get my exact coloring that I use in my edits to make them look the best as possible, make sure to check out the first link in the description. Because as of now, I'm running a huge sale. You can get up to 70% off of my presets. So so it's a perfect opportunity for you to get the best quality ever. It's a limited offer, so be fast and don't miss your opportunity on becoming the best. Once all these steps are done, we're good to go. We can now render our edit. And if this tutorial helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, as I said, don't miss the offer in my shop. And also, feel free to check out my Discord server. We're a huge community of editors who just help each other all day. You can ask me questions or just get in touch. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.